Live. Let's let's check it out. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, chat. If we are live, let us know. Uh, I apologize for a delay. We just had some technical difficulties, but I think we figured it out. Uh, hopefully, let's see if chat comes in. We are live. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let me see some more messages just to make sure. We're good. We're in. Okay, awesome. Hello, everyone. What's up, cool kid? What's up, Luna Wolf Ray seven seven seven? How are you guys? Phase dinosaur. You okay? <laughs> Did you drop something? Yeah. My okay. Phone. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is okay, the guys. Time I have headphones we are... on in front of my kitchen. Yeah, don't bur don't burn any cords or wires, please. <laughs> don't want to start a fire there. Okay, guys. So uh, we're gonna get straight into it. So sorry for the delay. We had some technical difficulties, but we're here. And today I have Bilal, aka Golden Goalie. He's going to be teaching me how to make his chai mix. So we've got a bunch of different things, and they're all in the description. And we're gonna make some tea. Yes. Ah, that's it. That's nice. It. Got the zoom in and everything. Yes, ma'am. My apologies the again. This, this whole setup is a bit messy, so if you see me uh, rustling around, that's my fault. I just have a whole bunch of wires. I got two laptops on my stove. Hopefully nothing crazy happens. But uh, happy to hear. <laughs> We're all you good. For inviting me, Lisa. Yeah, of course. Tell, tell us a little bit about you before we get started into this. Like, who are you? What do you do? Sure. Yeah, uh, my name is Bilal. I was uh, born and raised in Toronto, Canada. I practice in Canadian immigration law. And um, s since the pandemic, I just started doing home cooking and then I just started sharing it online, uh, mainly TikTok. And that's pretty much it. I just kept sharing recipes and I'm here today with Lisa. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we, we've streamed a couple times on Twitch together where we played Valorant. And I must have missed that. You're practicing in Canadian immigration law? Yep. So I help kind of library or permanent I think there is a little bit of lag. Yeah, I'm feeling a lag on my end as well. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if it catches up. I think we're good now. Okay. Well, let's get into it. How do we make this mix? What should we do? All right. So let's go over the recipe, uh, some of the ingredients, and then okay. we can just start uh, making the actual chai mix itself. And then after that, we can actually make the chai. How about that? Let's do it. I'm down. Cool. Masala right. chai is great. Masala chai. So typically there are a lot of different types of chais. Uh, a lot of people just like to use black tea itself and maybe just some uh, cardamom pods and like that's it for them like my dad does that a lot he doesn't really like myself too much he likes to keep it simple with just black tea and just some cardamom pods but i personally like masala chai because it just has a bit more of a different flavor and i like to mix it up a bit so we're going to be adding a bit more things along with the cardamom pot and that's going to be our chai mix like i showed in the beginning that's this guy okay. right here so in your empty container, uh, do you have that with you, Lisa? Yes, I do. Hopefully it's big enough. I think it All is. Right. I think it's good. Okay, I got the container. What do, what do we do? Cool. All right. All right, let's get some of your cardamom pods and let's pour a bit of that in your container. Uh, it's mainly just eyeball, honestly, because again, with a lot of these different ingredients, some people prefer a specific ingredient to be more prevalent in the masala chai. Some people like a specific ingredient to be a bit less in their chai. So this totally depends on your preference. Uh, if you've never had these ingredients, you can give it a little taste or you can make the chai with it and then taste it. And the next time you can kind of cater it towards. Gotcha. Okay, I've um, never had, I'll... I don't know if I've ever had cardam cardamom. This is green cardamom, yeah? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you think? Is uh, that enough? One second. Sorry. The uh, the feedback on my laptop is actually slower than the one on my phone, so I'm just going to refer to my phone. 
because that's actually smooth. That looks good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. All right. So you have the carbon pods. Carbon Next up, let's smells good. It does. I know, right? It's all good. But the thing about carbon pods is that for anyone of you who's uh, South Asian in the chat, a lot of the times you may find this in a lot of different rice dishes and it gives a good flavor, but you can't really eat this on its own. It's very strong. So a lot of the times, like, uh, people don't really take out the carbon pods from uh, any sort of rice dishes. So if you take a big spoonful, there's a chance you might bite into one and it's not very tasteful. So just be careful if you're all cooking with it because it can get very strong if you don't take it out. But in chai, it's the best. I love it. So that's something that I use a lot. Good tip. After okay. carbon pods. What's next? Let's uh, uh, grab some cinnamon. So you can use any type of cinnamon. Uh, I forgot what this style is called. I know you have um, I know you have the ones that are a bit more round. I have that one as well. There's different types of cinnamon. I only yeah, know so like ground is... cinnamon and like cinnamon sticks. <laughs> there's a few different types. So there's this type here. This is like the one that you may more commonly see. That's uh, the one that's a bit round. You might see this on like uh, the apple cinnamon cereal box, whatever it's called. So there's this one, and there's also the these little flat ones here. Gotcha. So what you do is, I like to go a, a bit heavy on the cinnamon as well, not as much as a carbon pod. So you might want to okay. just put less of that as compared to your carbon. Do you think I need to break these up or no? Um, how much of those? Let me see. Uh, maybe half. Yeah, just in half. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, can't do that. Oh, I can. Okay, cool. I broke it in half. Nice. Cool. Okay, two sticks. Two sticks. Uh, maybe even more. Okay. We're gonna do a third cinnamon stick. Uh, see if I have the strength for it. Hold on, let me break this. Ah, oh, okay, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the jar. What do you nice. think? Alright, that's, that's good. Okay, cool. Now, what you can do is you can also layer this a bit if it might get difficult to uh, mix afterwards if it's full. So add a bit more cardamom pods on top of that and then maybe finish it off with an extra piece of cinnamon. More cardamom and more cinnamon. Okay. Yeah. Cardamom is going in. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Is a cook named Matt in the? Do you, have you ever talked to a cook named Matt? Um, I remember being on a few uh, clubhouse calls with him, but not personally. Nice. He's a really cool guy. He's good. Yeah. Is he in the chat right now? I think he is. I saw some people commenting towards him. But if he is, hi Matt. What's up? This is Bilal. If Matt, you haven't meet, if, met him yet. Okay, so kind of layered it. Added some more cardamom and some cinnamon right. sticks. What's next? Cool. Next, next up, let's go with the, the the fennel seeds. Okay. So that's this right here. Now, you can eyeball this, this one too. This one you can eyeball as well. Um, personally, I have too much fennel. Like I do like a bit, but not, not as much. So what you could do is kind of eyeball it. Um, let me see your jar again. Maybe like three, four tablespoons would be nice. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, you can also There's get a salt. so many different smells. I love it. I, I know. <laughs> I smell like it's kind of the spice sweet, market I went groovy. to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could inhale that. Okay, <laughs> what's next after that? Uh, let's see your jar. Let's see how it's right now. Nice. All right, all right, all right. Next up, we got a bit of clove. Yes. Now again, personally, I don't like to use as much clove as compared to the fennel. So I'm going to put even less clove in mine. Okay, this smells similar to the cardamom. Yeah, just a bit, but it feels like a lot more, um, a lot more earthy. 
as compared to Cardi. Okay. Yeah, I remember in elementary school, they used to make us stick these in oranges like on Halloween. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, and, uh, that used to be like a natural candle. Okay. All right. I added uh, just a little bit of that. Yep. I'll add a little bit more. Nice, nice. Very nice. Cool, cool, cool. One second. All right. Now, now the other ingredient, you this one here. This is the Adwan. <laughs> the one that we were struggling to find for you, but this is it right here. Oh, yeah. So it's, was it called Adwan? Adwan? So Adwan, or also known as Karen Seeds. Now, this smells kind of like a mix between thyme and star anise. Um, this is probably huh. the least amount of ingredient that I would put in because it's very strong. So I would honestly only put like a tablespoon of this in here. But since you don't have it, it's totally fine. But uh, this would also go in it. Yeah, I went to two different spice markets and I was supposed to call another one, but I didn't get the chance. Mm -hmm. I just got too busy. Uh, but I was going to call and ask them. You said with the accent, it would be a Dwayne. A Dwayne. Oh, yeah, because, uh, okay. Yeah, I was what, going to call that. them and I was going to do it, but mm -hmm. yeah, because uh, I think okay. uh, I I shouldn't have told you to say carom seeds because I don't think they would have known by that. So then, if you said that, they they probably would have been like, "What are you talking about? We don't have that here." <laughs> well, the second person I googled it and I showed them the picture and everything, so it showed all the different names. So mm -hmm. it's all good. They still didn't have it. Oh, okay, like so after the adding beginning. the Arduane. Yeah. <sighs> What's after Arduane? Uh, that's pretty much it right there. Then you should be left with this. So now you can give it a little shake, you can mix it up, you can roll it around. So everything is nice and even. Okay, and we're gonna give it a shake. Good. Okay, it's got a good shake. All right, let's see how it looks. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that. All right, guys, that's nice. Okay. There we go. So this is pretty much the most solid chai mix. So now what I would do, or what my mother would do, is uh, whenever we need some chai, you would just take a tablespoon of this, or if you want some more cinnamon that morning, you can kind of pick some out, toss it in there. If you did want, want some more carbon pods, take some pieces out, pop it in there. It's it's just a lot more convenient to have everything in one jar, and then you can play with it, depending on what you're feeling. Right? So what did we need the mortar and pestle for? Let's get to that. So now... Oh, if you, oh that's next. Okay. Right, so now, if you do want to make it, uh, you could easily just pour this, or pour a couple of tablespoons in uh, your pot. But if you did want a bit more flavor, then you can mash it up. Right? Okay. So, now that we have our chai mix, let's make some chai, yeah? Yeah, let's do it. This smells so good. I know, right? It's nice. All right. Um, another thing that people like to do, oh wait, before that, another ingredient that some people also like to use is star anise. Oh yeah, yeah. I've got that. So if you want, you can also add a couple of this in there as well. Again, this is very sweet. Okay. It's, it, 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 it sounds like licorice, so it's very nice as well if you want to add this in there, but that's totally up to you. Yeah, I, I love star anise because it's used in pho, so like, yeah, love it. Okay. All right, all right. Cool. How do we now, do this? Do we just pour it out? Uh, let's start with the ginger because that's another ingredient that a lot of people like in their masala tray. Oh, yeah. Some fresh ginger. So if you can grab some ginger out. Let's grab a small little knob, maybe like the size of your thumb. How's the chat coming along? Is the chat good? Is my audio fine? Everyone's. I think audio chat's is fine. good. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you guys have any questions for Bilal? If you guys have any questions, we can answer it. Oh yeah! Congrats on two million. What's right? up, Godzilla? Thanks. 
Next, add some barbecue sauce. I don't know how that would. <laughs> don't know how that would turn out. You Are know, we taking the skin off of the ginger? Uh, you can leave it on. Like a lot of people say, the nutrients is in the skin as well. Personally, I don't find there to be a huge difference if you leave it on or off. So you can just okay break off a small knob. Do you like your tea hot or cold? My tea, I'm not that much of a fan of iced tea. Like, I'll drink it, but I prefer my tea hot. Yes. How about same. yourself? Nice. I'm same. I don't mind cold tea. Iced yeah. tea. Uh, Millicent, thank you. You like the hair? Nice, nice, nice. A lot of people say they don't like it, especially my mom. She's like, yo, your hair sucks. Please get a haircut. <laughs> your mom says that? Yeah. <laughs> Like, That's I've hilarious. been growing this since the beginning of the pandemic, since the barbershop goes in uh, March 2020. So the top and back has just nice. been <laughs> Alright, so I just got a little knob of ginger right here. Not too big. Okay. So, after you have that, put that in your pesto and mortar. Here's mine. I'm gonna cut it in half because I think yours is cool. a little smaller. Okay. In goes the ginger. All right. Now, before we mash that up, let's uh, add some water into the pot so that, that kind of heats up and then we can prepare everything in the meantime. All right. Okay. So, now, depending on how much people you are serving chai, because usually, you do want to share chai, but if you're alone, then it's going to be only yourself. So let's say you're alone right now. Um, typically, you would just eyeball it, but um, if you've never made it before, you can just use the cup that... Oh my god, that's such noise. All this cracking. <laughs> What's happening? I just hear a lot of clacking and my headphones are super loud. Sorry, I got to put the volume down. You're good. Okay, I'm boiling water. That's what you asked for, right? Oh, yep. Um, let's start with the quantity of water. So, um, let's get out your coffee mug. Okay. Wait, chat, which one should I use? This one, one or two? One or two? One or two. What do you guys think? What do you think, Bilal? One or two? I don't one know. Everyone's saying one. No one's liking two. Actually, some people like two. I'm going for one. Yeah. One? Okay, one it is. Oh, wait, no, that's one. No, no, sorry. I want two then. Oh, you want two? Okay. Yeah. You got yeah. Two. <laughs> okay, here's the All mug. Right. Cool. So let's say you're just uh, drinking for yourself. Let's fill about a full cup of whatever mug you have with water. Forever drinking by myself. Yep. Got this. Okay. And let's add that into the pot. Okay. And now let's fill maybe about a quarter to a half of the same amount from the same mug. About a quarter way up, half way up around there. Because the reason for this is because as we boil it, some of it is going to evaporate. So we want to make sure that we have enough for a cup. Gotcha. Okay. So up, about a quarter is fine. Uh, put it there. Now let's get this heated up to around medium high heat for now. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, Rainbows cross my wires don't explode. Let's see. <laughs> I, I sure told you I've had the same issue. I've been <laughs> I've streamed once on Twitch where like I had wires everywhere over the stove everything, but luckily <laughs> I did burn down the house. All right. 
All right, so as that is uh, doing this thing, let's grab our pestle and mortar, and let's just start slightly mashing up the ginger. Nothing too fine, like you don't need to do it in a paste. Just kind of release some of the some of the tension, so the flavors have a lot more room to kind of escape. So okay. I'm just kind of mash just just a bit. Oh, I love the smell of ginger. I know, it's so refreshing. So yeah, that's pretty much it right there. So like nothing too crazy. Okay. All good? Cool. All right. Now, as soon as you start seeing a little bit of bubbles, let's add the ginger in the pot. Okay. All right, so let's wait. I am still waiting, yes. You guys have any wait. questions? I forgot the black tea, give me a second. Okay. Lisa, do you like your tea with milk or without milk? I have never had tea with milk in it before, so I would say without milk, but we'll see today how it goes because we're adding milk to it today. Mm -hmm. I come here because why not? <laughs> nice. When did you start cooking? Bilal, when did you start cooking? Oh, is that for me or is that for you, sir? It's for you. Oh, um, I think probably in high school. I was always doing some sort of home cooking since then. Nice. So it's been uh, it's been around ten years. Do you like cooking? Yeah. Like um, I don't know. You just get out of the zone and just kind of focus on one single task and just it just keeps you um, keeps you creative. I don't know. What's your favorite thing to make besides kofi? <laughs> 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 I like anything with dough, so like pizza, pasta, rotis, you know, like something where I'm all like constantly eating. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, my water is boiling, so I'm gonna add my ginger. It's already boiling. Okay, yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's add your ginger in there. All right. Uh, let me see how your water looks. Like, is it, is it a rapid boil or is it just kind of simmering? Um, now it's simmering. It was boiling quite a bit. I okay, lowered cool. the heat. All right. Set that in there. Now, when you see a bit more movement in the water, where it's like almost like a low sin, you can start adding about a tablespoon and a half of your black tea. Okay. So guess how much all my spice, all these spices cost that I got. So I got the green cardamom, I got the cloves, I got the fennel seeds, the cinnamon, and this, the black tea. Guess how much this costs. Um, let me see the quantities. Okay, here's the black tea. Yeah. Um, here's the cardamom. And obviously this is without what I used in the recipe. Here's the cloves, mm -hmm. cinnamon sticks. I got 12 of them. And then the fennel seeds. 47, uh, 25. What? 47? Don't know. I'm thinking like maybe. Well, people are guessing. Okay. I'm thinking oh, and, maybe 50. And um, ground, cin ground cinnamon too, which we didn't use since we're using cinnamon sticks. So that's included in the price as well. I'm thinking maybe 16, 17. I feel like I got ripped off then. How much did you pay? Let me see here. Let's see what people think. $1.6 billion. Yes, that's actually pretty close. $30. It was $56. What? Oh, and I paid for this too. Sorry, the case. Who did you go to? The container, the spice market. I'll, I'll send it to you later. I'm not going to call them out on chat, but I'll send call it to you later. Right <laughs> no, <laughs> Who are these people charging 50 bucks for some spices? Come on. Well, that's why I'm like, I, that's why I'm like, why did it, like, what did I get that was so expensive? Because I didn't even know. I just, you got robbed. That's, <laughs> now I, I was like, maybe one of this is like a commodity, like a just really rare Right now, kind of like vanilla extract is really expensive. 
Yo, this is the most expensive fight you've ever in your life. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, we're paying $56 for this. Rest in peace money, yes, rip. All right. All right. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay. should be in a good position right now to add your blackie, so let's go ahead and go. Can I tilt my camera and not make everything fall? Let's see. Good oh, luck. Thank you. Moving. This is Moving. probably worth seven to eight dollars in India. What is the currency in India? Uh, that should be Indian rupees, I believe. Rupees. Yeah. All right, chat. Let me know if that's good. If not, then I can just kind of maybe hold the pot up. That should be decent. It's kind of off frame. It is off frame, yeah. Hmm. Let me move it. In Kenya, maybe eight dollars max. Maybe you got really good spice. Maybe I did, or you know, I'll buy the same exact spices from a different spice market next time, and I'll see how much it costs. All right, Chad. Trying to. That looks good. All right, cool. So let's go ahead with our black tea. I'm going to put maybe about a tablespoon and a half. Lisa, what are you making today? What are we making, Bilal? We are making masala chai. It is a type of tea that has spices, milk, and water. All right. So now that that's doing its thing, let's probably put this on medium heat for now. Okay. And, and let me fix my camera. Again, apologies, guys, for the camera set up here. Let me just get this fixed. It's actually really good, so I don't think you need to apologize. Oh, happy to hear. How old are you? I'm 72. How do you know each other? Um, through social media. I would say TikTok first or was it Instagram first? I'm not sure. But we've streamed on Twitch together TikTok. a couple of times. TikTok? Okay. Yeah. I like doing squats so that's holding, so my legs are going to be jacked after this. <laughs> I right. want to move my camera as well so you guys can see this. All right, so now we can actually get some of our masala chai mix into the peasant mortar. All right. So again, this totally depends how much you want. Um, again, you don't have to put this in your pestle mortar. You can just pretty much dump it in there. But if you want a bit of extra flavor and you, okay. you want a bit more strength, you can mash it. So again, I'm just going to pour a little bit into a pestle and mortar. And if I see that I want more cinnamon, take a piece out, drop it in there. Uh, I like to go a bit more cardamom heavy because I like that flavor. So I have about okay. one, two, three, let's say... That's a bit too much. Let's say three to four cardamoms. Like, I like that. And then I have... Yeah, I have way too many. <laughs> so about three cardamoms. Maybe about this much cinnamon for my preference. Go. Okay. Uh, how many... How much of your star anise do you have? Um, I'm not, not even putting any. But if I would, which I will right now, I'm probably only going to put like a quarter of a star. So if I'm okay. here, I'll probably only put like one, two, three pieces of leaves or the start pieces. Got that there. Perfect. What camera are you using, by the way? Because it's really clear. This is the Canon SL3, and it has the lens kit. I'm thinking about upgrading the lens, but it's pretty good right now. Nice. And then I have about maybe two pieces of and maybe about half a tablespoon of the fennel seed. Let's see if I can show this on camera here. Okay, I have too much clove and too much cardamom, so let me get those out. Oh. There we go, let me see how that looks. All right, There's so mine. if you see that, that's pretty much what I'm dealing with there. Okay, I think it's about the same. Yeah, that's good. Uh, maybe even a bit more cinnamon if you want. Try that. Maybe like add okay. another piece. Yeah. Hey, do you know how to make biryani? I do. Um, 
I have three different biryani recipes on my TikTok right now. I have shrimp, I have chicken, and I have beef, which is my favorite. I like beef biryani. Oh, uh, you'll have to teach me sometime. Let's do it. Okay, uh, cool. Out of the preferences, which one do you think you would like most? Shrimp, chicken, or beef? Probably beef. That's good, yeah. Yeah, the tr traditional one is chicken, but honestly, I just got tired of it. So now I'm more <laughs> of a beef guy. Okay. All right, so now with this, let's just start mashing up a bit. And again, you don't have to make it into a powder. Just kind of open up the cardamom pods. Smash some of this, nothing too crazy. So every every cup that you make is going to be different because you're adding a different amount each thing, right? Exactly. Yeah. So again, this isn't something that's super precise. You don't have to get out your measuring spoons or cups. Just eye everything, and trust me, it'll be fine. Okay. I think we're good. That's pretty much it. All right. Let me fix my house up here. Okay. And I think from this point on, I'm going to leave the camera on the stove for just a few minutes because this is going to be kind of the main part here. So let me set up. What's your favorite Indian dish? Um, hmm. I really like dosas. What so is like a dosa? Dosas with, uh, dosa is it's, uh, kind of like, a, so you, uh, you know what rotis are, right? Like uh, the round flatbread. Yes. Uh, dosa is kind of like that, but it's much larger and it's much more thin. So it's almost like crispy. So, oh, you, okay. so you would eat that with a lot of different dishes. Huh. All so right. what's the difference between a dosa, a roti, and naan? So rotis, do I even have some here? I don't think I have any. But rotis, they're pretty much like the traditional flatbread. If I if I were to compare it, a lot of people might get mad at me, right? But I don't care. You could compare it to a, to a tortilla, uh, like a Mexican style tortilla. But uh, the main difference is that it's made out of uh, wholemeal wheat flour, as opposed to corn flour or anything else. So that's the main okay. difference. And cool. if you want to talk about naan, it would be made with either all purpose or mixed between all purpose and wholemeal wheat flour. And it also has a bit of yeast. It can also have a bit of yogurt, and it's a lot more fluffy and light. So that's the main difference with naan. Nice. All right. Yeah, I will have to be hitting you up when I make those. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. What's so, next? So, it, so it, in the pot right now, we have our water, we have our black tea, and we have our ginger. Correct. Yes. All right, now let's go ahead and add in our masala mix. Okay. Right here, gotta get that in there. Clean out all the pestle mortar. Clean everything out. Get it in there. All right, now uh, we want to bring this maybe up to low to medium, medium heat and just let this simmer for at least a couple of minutes because a key component in making chai is making sure that you do boil it and you do let it simmer so you can get as much flavor as you can so let's just let this sit there for like a good couple of minutes okay what was that uh a weird noise <laughs> that i was <laughs> i think we're good this is my <laughs> second time using this burner so i'm like I don't know. Should we mix it at all or just let it do its thing? Nah, yeah, just let it do its thing. Man, that sounded like okay. a jet engine. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I know. If, the, if my if this place explodes, then you know what happens. God. It smells right, amazing so, though. I know, right? Black tea, does black tea have mm -hmm. a lot of, like, does it have high caffeine content? I know it has caffeine. I'm not sure how much. I didn't check that. Uh, uh, anybody in the chat know the caffeine context? of uh, black tea because I, I don't know try making mithai together mithai mithai what's Ooh, mithai. how do you pronounce that mithai? Uh, mithai. what is that yeah, so um 
So matai itself is commonly used as a general term for a lot of different sweets in the South Asian community. So we have like little pieces of swords of cake, we have, we have ras malai, we have gulab jamun. Um, so like it's commonly used as just like a almost like a macro term for in the Desi community. So um, if you want to okay. check out some of the sweets, uh, I have a sweets playlist on my TikTok and I made some matai. Um, of course you but, uh, did. Yeah, it's nice. so good. Cool. Yeah, I'll definitely check that out. Um, people have been asking me to also try pani, pani, pani puri. How do you pronounce that? Ooh, pani, pani puri. puri. Yeah. Yeah, pani, that's good too. Pani puri. So uh, I have that on my TikTok as well under the street food. <laughs> if you want to check that out. It's <laughs> I, I just need to like watch all your videos on TikTok. It's basically a hollow shell of dough. So it's almost like a hollow dough ball and you would mm -hmm. fill it with a bit of chickpeas, a bit of tamarind chutney, a bit of mint chutney, uh, a bit of a uh, fried dough balls and you would eat that whole. So it's, it sounds like a crunchy, savory, salty snack. Nice. Okay. It's good. Yeah. All right. So as that's doing this thing, uh, let's get out the milk. Okay. So give me a second. By the way, guys, I will be doing this for day 20. I think day 20 or day 21. The One Chip Challenge 2021 version. I am do you asking. eat spicy food, Bilal? I do. Do you eat spicy food? Well, what is that, the One Chip? Have you done the One Chip Challenge? I've been yeah, trying to find it. Yeah, the 2021 version. Oh, they have different versions? Well, each year they come out with a new one. That's the 2021 version. I haven't tried it yet, but I will be trying it. It's hard it. to find that in Canada. Like, uh, I remember searching it up on Amazon and I don't know what version that was, but it was like 150 bucks to get that in Canada. <laughs> Yikes. I know. How much did you pay for that? Um, they sent, they actually sent me a couple. They sent me a goodie box. Pocketed, yeah. All right. So take a smell of that. Let me know what that smells like. Smells like goodness. Right? All right. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, chat, can you guys hear the, the music, by the way? Just curious. Uh, sorry. OK, milk, how much milk? Uh, no, sorry. I thought you wanted to check with chat. That's fine. We can check with chat on music. Because I can hear it, but I don't know if other people can hear it. I can hear it as well. Yep. Oh, okay. Everyone hear it? Okay, cool. Alrighty, so we've got milk. How much are we adding? All right. So the same way that we measure the milk with the... Oh, uh, so not milk. The same way that we measure the water, let's do the same thing with milk. All right? Okay. So you can add around a cup of milk. I'm just going to eyeball it here, but add around a cup, a of milk. cup and a quarter. Yep. Yeah. Right, so I didn't realize here. it was that ratio is that high. Yep. Yeah. I think I'll just add the rest of my milk. And uh, you can also go by color the more you do this because like, um, as soon as you drink a good cup of chai, you would notice the color, and then you uh, you would try to remember that color for future reference. Oh, okay. So the next time, like, try to get back to that color. So yours, I would add a bit more milk. Okay. Yep. What about sugar? Uh, do you have any more milk, or is that it? I have more milk. Do we add more sugar? And I mean, do we add sugar to the salad or not? Um, a lot of people like to add sugar at the end in uh, the pot itself or in the beginning to also boil it with the chai. I personally like to add it up at the end um, just so I can kind of taste and preference it at the end as opposed to doing a long cooking process, but it's up to you. Gotcha. Looks yummy. It does look yummy, doesn't it? I'm excited to try this. All right. 
I also need right, caffeine, so, so this is perfect. Perfect. All right, so now here's, I guess, you could, oh, I need a chair, man. My squats, my legs are tired. <laughs> <laughs> I squat down like, like this. All right, so here's what I'm going <laughs> right, so to gonna do. I'm going to put okay. this up too high. And uh, you have to watch this like a hawk because a lot of times you might think you're watching it and you'll take your eye off it for a second and it's overflowed. All right. Okay. So as soon as you put this on high, um, as soon as you see it go up, quickly turn it down before it just overflows. All right. Okay. So I'm going to put this so on high. We're turning the heat up. Yeah. Because the main thing about chai is you really want to boil it at least a couple of times. Oh, what does that do? Uh, that just helps it get it a lot more frothy. It extracts a lot of flavors. And there's a big difference in taste at the end. Watch. Okay. All right, so let's let this do a thing. And uh, I also like to, to do a little trick. Uh, I like to see how long I can hold it at the top without it overflowing. Okay. Uh, I also still try like... This is kind of fun. This, <laughs> this, see how it is. this is a game. Yeah. Okay, mine's boiling, but once it boils to the top, then I lower the heat? Yeah, so as soon as you see it rise, just go ahead and put the heat back down to medium or to medium low. Okay, it did it. All right, nice, nice, nice. So get that back to low to medium and just have that simmer. Okay. This smells so good. Right. Um, I don't see too much movement on your end. Uh, maybe put it up a bit. Okay. Yeah, because you do want the chai to kind of be on a simmer, but not like super boiling. Can you at the end put it on Put the chai in a cup while it's high up in the air so it creates bubbles. Oh yeah, is that like called aerating it or whatever? Oh yeah, so right? that's that's not like that's not necessary, but you could aerate it with something like this, and you oh, basically nice. aerate the cup. And uh, what that does is kind of gives it a bit more frothiness and also cools it off a bit. So the first sip, you you're not going to burn yourself. So it helps with that. Gotcha. All right. Okay, mine uh, just what, boiling again. Uh, what temperature is your uh, 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 your stove at right now? It's like on medium low. Medium low. I take it up to medium. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and you want to give it like a a tiny stir every so often, just so nothing gets stuck at the bottom. Can you see my comment? No, I did not see that Godzilla. <laughs> What's up, Zia? What's up, Will? Can I have some? Sorry, this is all for me. Uh, we Indians enjoy chai with biscuits. Yes, as a morning snack, that is correct. A lot of Indians I see like they love chai and biscuits. The same thing with Pakistanis because we're basically like brothers. We're in Oh, we're, so we're very similar in terms of cuisine. So chai and biscuits is like a great, great combination. Um, while I was at the spice market, do you eat Turkish delights that often? Because I found a box of it. I was like, might as well try that with the tea. Uh, it's pistachio, um, I, pistachio Turkish delights. Nice. I have had it before a few times, but I don't really buy it as a snack. All right, so mine's coming. I'm going to put this down now. Yeah, same. Mine just came up too. Yeah. So you see that? That's basically what it wanted to look like. And I'm gonna put this on maybe low to medium for me, just so I can keep this little rumble going. All right. Okay. I will do the same. Yes. Oh, there we go. All right. Pistachio Turkish delights. Cool. Go back up 
Hey yeah. Lisa, what is masala chai? Oh wow, what is masala chai? Oh, he disappeared. We, we lost him at the crucial moment, guys. I bet it got disconnected or something. Well, what's up? What's up, guys? I'm, hopefully I don't burn this tea. <laughs> he disappeared. He did. Masala chai literally means spiced tea. Oh, nice. Didn't know that. Steven Rees, I don't have anything super interesting to say, but pretend this message is profound or something. That was very profound, Steven. Thank you for that. Thank you for the super chat. Well, let's try not to burn this while Bilal is trying to figure out what's going on. You're a jet main, nice. I am a, uh, what's her name, Sage? Hey, you're back. I can't hear you. Have you had a cake try? Please try funnel cakes. I love funnel cakes. Okay, these are the Turk. These are the have you guys tried these Turkish delights? They're pistachio. Pistachio, 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 pistachio. Yes. yes, I can hear you now. Whoa. Look at this. Um, talk. Nope, can't hear you now. You disappeared. Lisa, you should come to the UK. I want to come to the UK. Um, it works. I can hear oh, you. All right, all right. How's the audio? Is it clear? Is it laggy? Let me know. It is clear. You're good. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry. No worries. Let your eyes looking. It looks great. Mine's just simmering. Cool. So that way we can get all the flavor. Give me a second. I need Hello a from the Philippines. Hi, Denise. What's up? Chai with biscuits are great, but kakra are great too. What is kakra? Kakra. Kakra? I am back. <laughs> Lisa, are you in the U.S.? Yes, I'm in the U.S. Try it with digestive biscuits. What are digestive biscuits? Ooh, yes, yes. So those are basically, it's like uh, sweet caramelized biscuits. Uh, you should see them in a supermarket. It's like pretty brown, orange in color, but that's like a perfect combination. Why are they? You dip it in chai and you would eat it like that. Why are they called digestive biscuits? I don't know, maybe <clears throat> it helps with digestion. I doubt it, <laughs> but I think that's just a brand. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. All right, now let's let's give this another boil, yeah? So crank okay. up the heat and let's take yes, this up sir. a notch. Here. What do you like with steak? Um, I like asparagus or potatoes or vegetable. Whew, that was close. You guys are trying to distract me. I see what's going on here. Um, <laughs> you gotta watch it. I, I looked back and I was like, whoa. Um, <laughs> vegetables, potatoes, asparagus. Asparagus is a vegetable, right? Yeah. Have I ever tried baked beans and waffles? I have not. All 
All right, so I'm gonna let this wait about a minute, let this overboil, and then bring it back okay. down again. And we should be good to go after that. Sounds good. Mine just came to boil, I brought it back down, so just simmer now? Yep, the same thing as before. Oh, this smells so good. I'm excited. Right. It's nice. Have you ever had baked beans on toast? No, but I recently heard that's, that's like a thing in the UK, right? I just say baked beans in what? Baked beans on toast. Ah, uh, I haven't tried that. Do you eat um, noodles that often, like instant noodles? Uh, yeah, whenever I need a quick little snack, I would have some, yeah. Okay, are there any that you'd recommend? Um, the only ones I really eat are those uh, are those Korean spicy noodles. That's oh favorite. yeah, the Samyang ones? Yeah, those are nice. Yeah, those are good. Baked beans toast sandwich. This is a long process. Is there an instant version? Well, it's a little bit longer because we made the spices from the beginning or we made the mix. So yeah. I think once you're done making the mix, it's fine. Plus we had a yeah. little bit of tef technical difficulty too in the middle of that. So honestly, yeah. I don't think it would take that long. Yeah, like ideally this should probably only take you maybe five to seven minutes. Yeah, now that I have, now that I have this blend, this mix, I'm sure I can yeah. make it a lot easier or quicker. All right. I'm going to try to bring this up to the top. If I fail, then I fail. If I don't, then it's a success. Okay, let's watch. The suspense is on. Where is he from? Where are you from? Wait, I don't want to distract you. Let's see. <laughs> I am from Toronto, Canada, and my background is Sunny. So my parents immigrated to Canada in the 80s from Pakistan. Oh, she. <laughs> Oh, she. I'm just pl playing with the stove right now. You're doing great. It has not overflowed. Pretty impressed, actually. All right, there you go. That's it. <laughs> Round of applause. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, now just smell that. That's good. Oh, yeah. All right, at this point, let me see yours. Nice, very nice, very nice. Thanks. Cool, all right. Now what we can do is, um, if you don't want to aerate it, you can just simply strain this into your cup. Uh, I'm going to aerate this just a bit. So let me okay, I wanna change watch my you setup. All right, so as you watch, you can have that on just on low heat because that's pretty much done right now. So you can just have that sitting there on low heat. Let's watch a master. No, I'm not a master. I like usually I never even did this up until maybe like maybe six months ago. There's another TikToker. His name is Cross Culture Christian, and uh, he makes a lot of good chai content. And um, he's the one that got me into actually doing the whole iteration thing. Um, nice. Like, if you go back home, you see a lot of people selling chai on the street, and they do it as well. And like they're masters at it. They have their hand like at the bottom of their feet, and this hand is just like all the way up here. And their hand-eye coordination is amazing. It just lands in the right spot every time, right? Nice. So I'm I'm nowhere near that. I'm just going to be doing it like this, but it's the same thing. <laughs> okay, cool. So we can grab our little, I don't know what you would call this. Uh, I think they use this to like make designs in like Starbucks, whatever. I don't know what they call this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got a little strainer here. And I'm just going to put some right here. Lisa, your chai looks sad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, the chai looks good. It's just waiting. It's just waiting to be drunk. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it looks sad. All right, let's watch this aerating process. That's cool that it has like a little strainer inside. 
Uh, no, this is the strainer that I have separately. I just oh, place it on top. Just, nice. Yeah. And you can get a spoon, get that flavor, press it down. Throw that away. So just simple. You'll just go straight like this. Ooh. I would miss uh, yeah, the... I would miss the target for sure. And it would end up on I've, the kitchen floor. I've missed this so much time and it ended all over my feet, all over the kitchen floor. But yeah. Wow. That's pretty much it. Look at the skills. Oh my gosh, my thing's boiling, guys. Ah, uh, it's supposed <laughs> to be on low heat. What happened? <laughs> it, yeah, my bad. Whoa. How's the try? All good? Yeah, it looks great. Uh, let right, me now, filter it, right? Uh, you know what? First, uh, since you're not aerating it, let's add it. some sweeteners. So do you like sugar? Do you like sweeteners? Do you honey? What do you like in terms of your sweetness? Additives. What Honestly, do like? I don't like much sweetness, but I'll add a little bit of sugar. Yeah, the thing I have the honey. Is honey, honey's great. I love honey too. I'm going to be using some honey. Uh, the one thing about masala chai is to bring out a lot of the flavors, you do need a bit of sugar. Um, it's almost like the way okay. salt works with a lot of foods where you need to bring out some of the flavors. And with this, you do need a bit of sweetness. So I'm going to grab some honey. Give me a second. I don't know what I did with my sugar. Do you have sugar or honey? Well, I, I have both. I just don't know where. It's supposed to be boiling. Uh, it was boiling before, but now it's just pretty much on low heat because we're pretty much done with the chai. Dolly Sim, do you know any Indian drinks? Any any drinks like the ones you would buy at stores or something you would make? Okay, actually found the sugar. All right, let's go. How much sugar are we adding? Uh, that depends on you. Again, a lot of people like to add the sugar as it's boiling. Uh, you can add it as it's boiling or you can add it into the cup, up to you. But you can add like maybe a tablespoon Teaspoon depends how much sugar you want. I'll add a teaspoon. Alright, give me a second and your spoon. Don't add honey. Everyone's saying don't add honey, and I think because they know honey has a lot of great uh, beneficial properties. I think if you add a lot of heat to it, it's going to destroy it. But honestly, I like the taste of it, so I'm still going to do it anyways. Okay. So I got some nice little honey here. Uh, Lisa asked a lot if we can add cinnamon. We did add a lot of cinnamon. A little bit of cinnamon. That's honey up in here. Yeah, Open there's cup. cinnamon in here. Uh, sorry, did you add the sugar in the pot or did you add it to your cup? cup? I added it in the pot. Okay, cool. So now what you want, you can give it a little taste test, see how sweet it is. And if you want more, you can add more. If you think it's good, then you are ready to strain. What am I looking for in this? Because I've don't, never had it before. How do I explain the taste of masala chai? I don't know. <laughs> how do you explain how this tastes? 
uh you should get a bit of everything honestly um personally because we added a bit more cardamom and cinnamon you should get a bit more of those flavors coming in it should be milky it should be creamy you should mm. i think it needs more sugar but this is good okay mm -hmm. <laughs> this um. is the longest someone has taken to make chai it is <laughs> <laughs> Did we set a world record? I think we did. Perfect. That was my goal, guys. It was all part of the plan. And you guys <laughs> were roped into watching it. Okay, I think we're good. I just add the sugar. Right. Cool. So now let's get your strainer and let's put that over your yep. coffee mug. And carefully, either with a separate cup or if you want to just use the whole pot and pour it into the cup, go ahead and strain some of the chai into the coffee mug. So as you can tell, my strainer is... not the same size, so this will be interesting. Ooh, ooh that's a large one. But watch these skills, guy. guys. Let's see. You guys ready for this? <laughs> this could be a disaster. If you want to do that, maybe get a bowl and uh, maybe strain it with a bowl the same size as a strainer. I like the challenge. Oh God. Oh, oh no. Oh no. It's all good. It's all good. You got some in the cup. <laughs> there we go. You got some in the cup. It's fine. I did. I did. <laughs> okay. Boom. Hey, actually, there's only like a little bit. I mean, I poured a bit on the thing, but there's only like a little bit left. So the measurement was there. What'd you guys think? Rate rate that pour out of a 10. That pour, I would say you, uh, you did fill the cup. So I'll give that a 6.5. Oh, generous. Thank you. Looks amazing. Thank Your you. Color is on point. An eight, uh, a five, 10 out of 10? Wow, yeah, so OB. nice. You guys. 10 out of 10, let's go. <laughs> okay. Now we just let it cool. Do we garnish it with anything? Is it good to go? No, no garnish. Uh, I'm just waiting until you clean up that little spill. Yeah, I'm good. Got a bit more to go. Uh, someone <laughs> asked, when was... Have you ever been to Pakistan? Uh, a few times, or yeah. Or Pakistan? Um, oh, okay. Main... Someone asked the last time. I, the last time was in 2015. I was there for almost three months. I haven't been there back since, but I do want to go. I was actually thinking about doing a little food tour in Pakistan. That would be cool. Yes. So, like, maybe next year we can do that. Yes. Let me know when. I would. Hell yeah. I mean, I would be down for that for sure. Oh hell yeah! Let's do it. Yeah, I'd rather go with someone who's been there and knows stuff than going by myself. Uh, the thing is, I personally haven't been there in a while, so I would need somebody to actually do a bit more of a guidance for us as well. Because yeah, I only know a few spots, but I'm not experienced there at all. And uh, like they can, they can tell when there's a foreigner, even though I may look like a Pakistani and I'm a Pakistani, but I'm not born from Pakistan. So I'm still a foreigner. Yeah. foreigner. So like, no, a that's... lot of can take advantage of that. So just to be safe, it's always nice to have a local there with you. That's exactly how I feel when I, when I went back to Vietnam in 2013, that's exactly how I felt. They, people like, once you start talking, my Vietnamese is broken. So they knew immediately. So my yeah. brother, whenever we went to the market, he wouldn't let me talk because he knew mm -hmm. they would try to they would try to up the prices because they know I, I'm American. So supposedly I have more money. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see how your chai looks. Let's see that. Let's see that. Nice, nice, nice. Let me show you mines. So I got a bit left over. That's pretty much it right there. That it's beautiful. Is it. Yeah. It's burning hot, so I can't take a sip yet. 
no worries, no worries. But chat, do you guys have any last any last questions for for Bilal? You both did very good, thanks. Oh no, we lost him. <laughs> we lost him. What is that though? Is that Pakistani food is its own thing. I love your nails. Thank you. Is that orange? It's kind of more suited towards like a Halloween color, I feel like. What do you guys think? Not my parents take a sip of burning hot tea. Yeah, I don't want to burn my tongue. Because whenever I do, then when everything you eat, you just can't enjoy because your mouth is burnt. What's the music playing? It's like a pop playlist. How do you feel about Halloween, Lisa? I like Halloween, it's fun. I don't dress up anymore for it. I used to, um, but not anymore. How, how do you guys feel about Halloween? Do you like Halloween? What's the best thing to eat with chai? It seems like the consensus everyone was talking about was biscuits. But I have Turkish delights that I got from the spice market as I was getting the spices for this. These are pistachio uh, Turkish delights. So I will be trying this. Be interesting. Something savory. They had like these. Peanuts. That's not the camera. Hey, you're back. <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's the a different camera. camera. But I can hear yeah. you. Is this all your right, laptop? Right. That's that. I believe that's a laptop camera. Yeah, one second. There we go. Okay. Cool. I should be good now. Sick. Yes. All right. All right, Chai. What if I were to dress up as Lisa for Halloween? <laughs> if you were, what would you dress up as? <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Uh, you ready? Cheers. I'm ready. Cheers. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, that is good. That's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's so many flavors, but it's just like offset as well with the milkiness and the tea. It all mixes well. Like, it all blends together. It's so nice. Mmm. This is so good. Yeah. This, it's almost like you're... Um, it, it's almost like you're eating a meal because it's so, right? <laughs> it's so, it's like a dense tea, basically. Yeah. Do you have biscuits? I do have biscuits, but I don't have digestives once. Okay, I got Turkish Delight. Pistachio Turkish Delight, how's this gonna taste? I don't know. You should try Parlay G, Parlay G? What is Parlay G? Mmm. That was good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Damn, I, I thought I had cumin biscuits, but I ate them all. That happens. Totally understand. I know. So this yeah. pistachio, um... Go ahead. Uh, oh no, I was gonna say that um, a lot of people also like to eat this with croissants. So you would take a croissant, you can even dip a croissant in here, and that's a nice snack. Uh, any other mm. really sweet biscuit, you can also dip it in here, that's good. Um, oh, I, I was gonna say there's another version of this. It's basically called Dudapati, and Dud means milk, and it's basically the same steps, but you don't use any water, it's all milk. And that's hmm. probably even better for me because it gets really creamy and really frothy. Uh, that's really, really good when it's cold outside. Well, we gotta try that. Try that next time, it's good. Do you know what Parlay G is? Parlay G? Mm -hmm. Parlay G? Par Parlay G. Uh, I don't know what that is. 
are we pronouncing it correctly? I don't know. Maybe not. Someone saying trap. Dude, this is amazing. I could chug this know, right? if it wasn't so hot. <laughs> A, a, a lot of people like to use uh, the slurp technique, I li like the same way you would do with noodles, but you just slowly slurp it, so like you don't really burn your tongue or your lip. Slowly, like, and like you see a, a lot of old, uh, a lot of old brown uncles that would do that. Like they're just slurping away on their giant, like. <laughs> mm. Oh man, that's good. Oh, by the way, guys, chat. Um... Give Golden Goalie a follow on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram. Golden Goalie. Yeah. How did you come up with that Check name, by the way? Uh, it, it, it's pretty much just a random name. I used that name when I first got Xbox, like years ago, back in high school. Uh, I think I first wanted to be named Gully, but that name was taken. So then Xbox recommended Golden Gully. I just went with Golden Gully. That's awesome. Yeah, but the name Gully itself, uh, if you translate that from Urdu, it's kind of like a small little alleyway or a small street. So I guess it's like the golden alleyway or like the golden street, I don't know, or the golden road or the golden pathway. I don't know, call me whatever you want. <laughs> That's awesome. Gully means uh, alley, yep. Yep. Uh, you can even dip butter toast. Yes, you can do that, yeah. So like if you toast some bread, uh, some butter, dip that in here too. That's good. Hmm. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Is the dough ready yet? Um, Golden Goalie, Bilal, thank you so much for joining me on this stream. Totally appreciate it. Um, now I have this blend. Now I know how to make the blend because I also have so many of these spices as well. Wait, do you call these spices? Like cardamom? And yeah. clove and fennel seeds, you call them spices? I call them spices, yeah. Uh, if you are referring okay. to like in, in terms of our language, we would call them masala, and that just means spices. So that's why we call it masala chai, so spice tea. Oh, masala means spices? Yep. Oh, well, there you go. Did not know that, there masala. Okay, yeah. yeah. Subscribe to uh, Bilal's channel. You're on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Thank you again so much uh, for showing me how to make this uh, chat. Everyone watching, thank you so much for joining. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. No problem, Lisa. Thanks for having me. Chat, it was a pleasure. Take it easy. Appreciate it.